I am thoroughly disappointed in the amount of horses, yellow horses, that we actually didn't see in this movie. But there's plenty of teary-eyed moments in this one. Bring your tissues. Before I read the synopsis, I must say, Andrew Garfield, it feels so good to see you back on the silver screen. If I were to describe to somebody what is the perfect 2024 film that feels like a warm hug, I would say this one. Alma and Tobias are brought together in a surprise encounter that changes their lives. As they embark on a path challenged by the limits of time, they learn to cherish each moment of the unconventional route their love story has taken. Easily one of my favorite movies this year. This is just positivity all around from beginning to end. I love this movie. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. Most interesting part for me that I found to be quite engaging is how they tackle the narrative of the love story between Alma and Tobias. The pacing is kind of all over the place. It's a non-linear story, how they become romantically involved, which involves a car crash. It's actually a really funny sequence that blossoms into a really believable friendship and relationship. As you continue in their story back and forth, it shows you the journey through cancer, their journey through wanting to figure out if they actually want to have a kid. One does, one doesn't. Are they going to do it? Then eventually getting to the sequences where you have these just human moments where Andrew Garfield is holding a pen and a notebook and also counting down on the clock waiting to see if the pregnancy test comes out positive. It's these moments that really shine and make this movie stand out because of the believable performances from Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh. It's these quiet moments that genuinely make you feel like you're watching a real love story, real human story. And for some people, it might catch you off guard with how the pacing kind of is approached. Immediately in the beginning of the film, you are thrown into years into their relationship and how she gets diagnosed uh, for cancer. And then it goes right back to the beginning of how they met. All throughout this hour and 45 minute experience, it is just going back and forth, back and forth. That sounds exhausting, but really it's endearing how John Crowley brings us into their world, puts us in these critical, pivotal moments in their relationship. Andrew Garfield has a line that says, I was so worried about the future, I didn't think to see what's right in front of me. I'm pretty sure that's the line. I'm getting the gist of it right. But that line right there, perfectly encapsulates this whole film, what it means. It invites you as the viewer to just sit and watch these moments go by and let it hit you. Another thing that just worked for me in this film, by the beautiful direction of John and the amazing performances from Andrew and Florence, is how they approach the relationship within conflicts. Sometimes when you are on the other end of trying to help somebody, you think your way is the best way, but you never get the chance to hear the other person. And there are so many beautiful moments, primarily though in the third act, where Andrew Garfield's Tobias is trying to gain understanding from Almut, Florence Pugh. And it's remarkable the communication levels that they both had and the sense of direction that John gave them. And if you wanna watch one of the funniest scenes of the year that involves birthing, this movie has that for you and you will be laughing your guts out. We Live in Time is a beautiful and heartbreaking story of love and the importance of cherishing the time we have no matter how long or short it may be, nine out of 10. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this review. It really means a lot. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, do not forget to be blessed.